Well, today we're finishing up chapter one in our study of the Gospel of Mark. Remember, if you want to take a deeper dive on all of these lessons, you can find the podcast for the full-length audio at pursuegod.org forward slash Mark. And today we're going to take a look at chapter one, verses 40 to 45. And here's what we're going to learn. Jesus is going to heal a leper. We're going to see that the cure that he offers isn't just spiritual. It actually points to a healing that impacts every part of our lives. Let's take a look at the text. First of all, the infection. It says that a man with leprosy came and knelt in front of Jesus, begging to be healed. And here's what he said. If you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Now, to really understand the concept of leprosy and what it meant back in Jesus' day, we have to actually go back all the way to the Old Testament, Leviticus chapter 13. It explains it like this. A leprous person who has the disease shall wear torn clothes and let the hair of his head hang loose, and he shall cover his upper lip and cry out, unclean, unclean. He shall remain unclean as long as he has the disease. He is unclean. He shall live alone. His dwelling shall be outside the camp. So leprosy wasn't just a physical disease. It actually impacted the individual's relationships, right? It, it, it impacted his ability to relate to the world. And so because of this, leprosy is really a great metaphor for sin, because we know that sin impacts every single part of our life. So even as we read this story about the leper and how Jesus interacts with him, we can apply the lessons to all of us because every single one of us deals with a sin problem. And that sin problem infects every single part of our lives. So let's read on. It says in verse 41, moved with compassion, Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said, be healed. And instantly the leprosy disappeared and the man was healed. Now let's focus in on some of these words here. First of all, it says that Jesus was moved with compassion. And then he said, I am willing. Remember previously, the leper said, look, if you're willing, you can heal me. See, the leper understood that Jesus had the power to heal but he wasn't so sure about Jesus' willingness to heal. In other words, he understood that Jesus is great, but he didn't understand, he didn't know for sure if Jesus was good. And this statement answers it for us. Jesus said, I am willing. And then he did something that was really actually shocking for anyone who was watching. It says that he touched him. Now remember, you weren't supposed to touch a leper for various reasons. Number one, you could get the disease, but number two, you would be ritually unclean if you did it. But Jesus touched him to prove a point. The healing power of Jesus is way stronger than the infecting power of the leprosy. And that's why the man was healed. This was the miracle cure that the man was hoping for. And then in the next verses, Jesus essentially gives him a prescription. Verse 43, it says that Jesus sent him on his way with a stern warning. Don't tell anyone about this. Instead, go to the priest and let him examine you. Take along the offering required in the law of Moses for those who have been healed of leprosy, and this will be a public testimony that you've been cleansed. Now, it's easy to skip over this passage and not understand what's going on here, but this is really cool. See, Jesus didn't just want to heal this guy of his physical problem. Jesus sent him to the priest because he knew that unless he went to the priest, he wouldn't be accepted back into society. You know, what a great picture of the heart of Jesus for all of us. He wants to heal every single part of our sin problem, right? I mean, this whole story, this whole metaphor is about sin. So we're like the leper. We have this infection that ruins everything for us. I mean, this infection impacts every single part of our lives, not just spiritually, but relationally, financially. I mean, you name it, right? I mean, you can think about it even as you talk about it with your small group today or your mentor. Sin impacts every single part of us. And this picture of Jesus and the leper shows us that Jesus wants to heal every single part of it. The way he said it in John chapter 10 is he has come to bring life and life to the full. Just like sin destroys us fully, Jesus' salvation, Jesus' healing touch heals us fully. And so here's how this passage, and in fact, this whole chapter ends. Verse 45, it says, The man went and spread the word, proclaiming to everyone what had happened. And as a result, large crowds soon surrounded Jesus, and he couldn't publicly enter a town anywhere. He had to stay out in the secluded places, but people from everywhere kept coming to him. 
And it's interesting that this guy in his exuberance actually wasn't even obedient to Jesus. Jesus said, don't tell anyone about it, but he couldn't help himself. I mean, who can blame the leper, right? But look at what this passage says about Jesus right here. It says that he had to stay out in the secluded places. Now, isn't that interesting? See, at the beginning of the story, the leper was the one who was secluded. But then he met Jesus and experienced the great exchange. Jesus didn't just heal him. Jesus actually took on all of his infection. Jesus bore the weight of this disease, just like he bears the weight of our sin. And that's the beauty and the power of the great physician.